Welcome to Easy 3 Sport Production. I'm your host, Suttles, and today we will be previewing the Week 6 matchup between the Washington football team and the New York football Giants. Let's get it. The New York Giants are coming in at 0-5. The Washington football team is coming in at 1-4. Washington football team lately has made headlines because they have benched their starting quarterback, Dwayne Haskins, in favor for Kyle Allen. Kyle Allen ended up getting hurt last week so Alex Smith which was a tremendous story of what he had to battle through just to get back onto the field he almost lost his life because of an injury but Alex Smith got back onto the field last week they eventually lost the New York Giants are coming in with the offensive rank number 30th the Washington football team coming in at number 32 the New York Giants defense coming in overall at number 8 and Washington football team is coming in at 14. These are two bad teams. This is an NFC lease matchup. They're just really bad. They're not really looking promising. But I can see that it's going to be a very challenging game. It is the Washington football team's defensive line they look like some studs their front seven is really good the back end isn't too great but their front with chase young jonathan allen ryan kerrigan and those guys they apply pressure they definitely apply pressure to the quarterback they are averaging three sacks per game in week one they had seven sacks against Carson Wentz and that offensive line of the philadelphia eagles and the new york giants offensive line isn't that great either they're pretty good in pass protection not in run blocking but within the last two games we have been really controlling the clock on the offensive end without the ground game the only way i see the giants winning this game they have to win the time of possession they have to keep the washington football team's offense off the field it's not like it's dynamic or anything but the point being is that you're going to wear down their defense which is their strong suit and when you wear down their defense and their offense really isn't doing anything you'll be able to accumulate a lot more points daniel jones have to play better simple as that i want to see jason garrett get daniel jones into a rhythm early maybe start out with some rpos some read options get him running because last week in the dallas game he did not look confident at all anything he was doing he just did not look confident jason garrett really did call a really good game last game but we eventually lost but I want to see him get DJ into a rhythm, get some confidence in this young quarterback because he has the pressure of New York on his back. He has Trevor Lawrence whispering in his ear because everybody's saying tank for Trevor. He needs some confidence. We need to see him have a good game. Devontae Freeman was looking pretty damn good too. We need to keep the running game going the way that it is. We're just chipping away. We're getting a little bit better and better at run blocking. The pass protection is getting a little bit better, but this is going to be a test because Washington's front seven, they ain't no joke. So this pass protection definitely have to be on point because if not, Daniel Jones will be on his back all game. Now the Washington football team offense don't look that good at all their running game really isn't consistent Alex Smith this will be his second game so I'm not really expecting too much from him their only threat they got is Terry McLaurin the offense isn't what I'm worried about it's more so of the defense but the defense really don't create turnovers they just get sacks they apply pressure and we have to attack that head-on for the New York Giants this is a winnable game we have owned the Washington football team for the past seasons I really want to see us get a win, get our first win of the season. So for my prediction for this game, I believe that the Giants will win 27-21. It's not, good. it's not going to be a shootout. It's going to be a kind of a sloppy game because these are two bad teams in the NFC lease. But I see the Giants prevailing 27-21, and we'll see what will happen on Sunday. And that has been a Suttles preview from Easy 3 Sport Production. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Until next time, I'm out.